my honey bourbon chicken pops. So you're going to take this kind of little nubby end of the drumstick and to we're going to use a sharp, nice, heavy knife, give it a little pop, right? And we're going to cut off that nub. And then we're going to take this top end that's usually slanted like this and make it even steven. So we're going to make one more cut like that. And again, pop it, comes right through, and now it can stand up on its own. All right, so I got my grill going here at about 350, 375. So we're going to do kind of a two-stage cook here, starting with a dry rub. You see it's sweet, it's garlicky, it's a little spicy and smoky. It's got everything you need in there. Just take it and roll it right in there. See, look at now you stick them straight up like that, and we're going to repeat. Roll and stick, just like that. It's going to give it plenty of flavor. I get this last drum on there. Fantastical. And we're going to close the grill. 20 to 30 minutes. Get that internal temperature if you're temping it to about 155, and then we'll finish it off with a bunch of glaze on. This is just a super simple honey bourbon glaze, starting with ketchup, okay? About a half a cup of that. And then, of course, honey. Gives it that nice sugary vibe. About a quarter cup of that. About two tablespoons of Dijon mustard to give it a little punch, a little acid in there. You got to add some apple cider vinegar in there. A couple tablespoons of dark brown sugar. And the denouement of this all, a little of daddy's bourbon. A decent amount of that, about a half a cup. And we're going to cook that out so it's safe for the children's. We're going to whisk this up now. So we're going to simmer this for about 10 minutes. So you just want that nice light simmer bubbling away. You smell the bourbon? So they've been on there 20 minutes looking good, right? You can see the bottoms are nice and crispy. Skin has started to render. So this is the fun part. I like to tip, tip it down like that. Give it a swirly in a beautiful coating, right? back on the grill dunk swirl right right back on there look at the glazing now we can shut her down and let her finish up on the thing crank this up then we wait about another 10 minutes till it finishes cooking and until that skin and that glaze had a chance to set and get real caramelized and beautiful oh 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 Sticky. Look at that. Look at that. And you got, we got plenty of sauce that we can just kind of drizzle on here too. Or just a little more glaze. 